Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I just tied my Twilly onto my Birkin. What you see in front of you is actually an, uh, a Birkin 30 uh, with palladium hardware and it's kind of like orangey, orangey tone. Mm, and this color they call the Terra 2 and it looks pretty different in real life compared to what you're seeing here probably because of the flash that we have over here that makes it look so different like for example this box it looks very very yellowish on screen to me versus real life you know how how the orange color of this Hermes box looks like right it doesn't look so yellowish versus on screen I think the flash is doing some great color changing effect to my video so anyway what I have here what I have here is my broken 30 and as you can see it's still in very very good condition because I, I kind of like take good care of this bag in terms of the structure wise oh it has like slight, slightly slouch a little at the front you see it's like compressing in um, and from the side the back is holding its shape pretty well it's just the front it's like curving curving from the middle Onwards, and that's why it's so important to put stuffings inside. For example, those um plastic with um air inside, you stuff it in, and you keep the shape of the bag. So for this, I just merely left it without stuffing for about one day and one night. And there you go. Take a look. It's totally empty for one entire day and one night. And this is the effect that it has caused on my Birkin. And the way I should reverse this is, I guess, put on the stuffing bag and and store it. And I think it should push up this part of the ladder. But of course, well, if you are prepared to use this for the next one or two months, then what for, you know, what for put any stuffing is that Why bother? Just put your wallet and everything and lift the bag. And then I think after one month, you will see a good, sort of like a good shape like slouchy a little slouchy i guess Th that will happen i mean it's it's for sure i mean this is leather it's soft leather because it's togo mm, and it still has the leather smell so i mean what to do just thank god that i didn't have a clemens on and this is a togo so i guess togo is like a little thicker and that's why it holds the shape better but of course, if you were to have it in Epsom leather, then of course, you definitely have the structure and the shape well kept, no matter how many years you keep. Unless you press something against your Epsom leather broken, then I guess it will lose its shape. But otherwise, I think Epsom leather holds its shape the best. Or either that, or if you were to get um cellular, that kind of um super ultra sharp corner shaped kelly uh, kind of structure that one also holds its shapes pretty well so anyway what i have here is in togo leather and yes as i mentioned uh, the shape has gone off a little after just leaving it one day and one night without any stuffing and this is the effect so yeah i think it should be reversible anyway take a look at the side it looks different from the time when I first got it anyway yeah so look at my twilly I just did this twilly back on this bag what do you think of the color does it match like what do you think for me, I tied because of this part is like orange and I thought it matches quite well. But I don't know how it's showing on the screen because I have the flash on and this part looks like ultra bright. And here, 
It looks super yellowish. It just doesn't look like the color that you see on real life. So I think maybe it won't be a very, very good depiction of uh, what you actually see on screen versus real life so maybe it might be difficult for you to tell me or make the judgment whether if this will be a good uh, match to the back but on real life setting it definitely looks quite good and uh, if i see it with my naked eye on real life setting this portion is like dark um, dirty green right now on screen it looks like black color to me you know on screen it looks black so May, if if these are really black color then of course i will find that it look a bit too harsh on this back but the fact is it is actually dark green so i guess dark green and this um uh um dark orange will pretty much go well together and on top of that i've got this orange that can match the back pretty well so that's what i feel so let me know if you can imagine this bag with this dark green and orange and this is a bit more brownish orange will it match and also i've got here my rodeo i'm thinking of tying on this bag i'm not sure how well it will turn out to be oh, this is the rodeo wow the color looks really really different with the flash on oh on screen versus off screen the color looks different with the flash this purple looks like super bright fancy purple and without the flash it looks like really dark purple let's see without the flash how do I do it without the flesh? Anyway, it just it just looks different. It may not be a very very good depiction of what you see versus real life. Anyway, this is what you get. If I were to tie this rodeo onto the bottom, what do you think? Does it go well together? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Because I've got this purplish tone on the twilly. Like a more maroon, maroon purplish kind of setting over here. And here. And I think the rodeo color kind of match. How do you find this? Hmm. Is it nice? Looks okay? To me, I think it looks okay except for the strap. Maybe the strap is a little out. But of course, it will have a nice pop of color over here. These go well together. These brown goes well with this background. It's just this strap. I mean, if you don't want a boring bag, then this blue strap will will make it look a little poppy. You know, at least you get something really different. Hmm. Um, and also the size of this rodeo is the smaller size so this size is good to go with um Birkin 25 or Birkin 30 yeah there you have it i dressed up my bag what do you think let me know what you think Right now, this COVID situation is really, you know, it's affecting many people's lives. So, you know, what do we do? We stay home and we keep ourselves busy. Anyway, let me know what you think of this look. And, um, well, uh, if you think that the Tweety goes well, 
click on the like button and if you do think that this roller goes well with this combination click on the like button too so one thing i find is that if i were to remove this twilly then this bag may not go that well with this bag this roller complement the look is because of this twilly so i guess the solution for you next time is that if you are pretty much constrained with your rodeo look and you want to fit your rodeo to any of your other bags maybe you can try to purchase a matching twilly to the rodeo and you combine the two of them onto any birkin so in that way you still get to match that on your bag you know the two must go well together and that's that's what i find is uh, some tip for you and if you like this video please click on the like button and of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come because i might be doing a what's in my bag video if you like to watch a what's in my bag video please do let me know in the comment section down below let me know if you like to watch um um Mm, me mm, showing you what I normally carry in my bag um, or even you know what's in my cosmetic pouch or etc but of course I won't be showing what's in my wallet I think what at most what I can do is uh, what's in my bag if you like those kind of video do let me know in the comment section down below okay and that's about it guys so remember click on the like button if you like this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys